Hello everyone. Uh, sorry, I had it gone for a couple of days. Um, but uh, I've been thinking about what a what a good problem to solve is for us. Okay. So there's a um, whole bunch of uh, problems uh, that appear very nearly impossible to do using the methods we've learned so far. Uh, but with a little trick, they uh, they become very accessible. So these are problems with uh, where the charge, charged system, this is like a charged bodies. So these are like a source charges, whose electric potential electric field we want to find, they have holes or cavities in them. And the moment you see holes or cavities, I mean, you get scared and you, because setting up the integrals, etc., becomes uh, doing them, setting them is okay, but the the limits on the integrations are a little tricky to work out, and it's not the way to do it. Okay. Uh, anyway, so there is a subclass of those problems, which have some symmetry in them, uh, and uh, our symmetry can be imposed on them. They become uh, really interesting to solve. Okay. So here are some of them. So here is a uh, a sphere, a solid sphere. So this is solid sphere, and it's uniformly charged. Maybe it has charge density rho coulomb per meter cube. And then you have a, a, a some little hole or um, cavity, which is also a spherical, carved out of it. Okay, so this is a spherical cavity. You could cover any shape, but it's going to remain symmetric, okay? So this one problem, this is the one I'm going to do today in detail. But then the other problems are kind of show up in the tests, which have exactly the same trick that go with them. Uh, it's like a, you have a uh, this is like an annual, like a washer. Um, <clears throat> so uh, you have a disc and there's a hole cut out of it. Are you going to have a cylinder, like a solid cylinder, very long wire, and there's a uh, cylindrical wire, a hole that goes right through it, okay? So long cylinder and cylindrical hole through it. Uh, you have a large charge plate, <coughs> you know, infinitely long charge plate, um, and you have a hole cut out. Uh, maybe usually the problem will be have a circular hole or something like that. And you can have a circular hole with a uh, maybe a point charge placed inside the hole or something like that. But all of these are have very similar trick. So what's that trick? Okay, the trick is to fill the hole. Okay, so and make a creative use of superposition. So the trick is. Uh, Fill the hole with plus and minus charges. So same amount of plus and minus charges, uh, and separate uh, separately. Look at two problems. Full, fully charged. So in this case, will be if I fill this, if I fill this with a plus and minus row. So this plus row go with that and makes a fully charged, fully charged, uh, fully charged hole, and and fully charged oppositely, fully charged. Oppositely charged um, this cavity, cavity, filled cavity. Okay, so and then solve these guys separately and then superpose a 
and B to get the answer to the original problem. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, do this problem by do, uh, doing this. So kind of a places that we would like to know, hey, what's the um, field at the center? What's the field at this center? What's the field at the point out here? Maybe uh, what's the field at an off center point like over there? What's the field at an off center point over there? So these are like a unique points in a way. Uh, and uh, uh, let's see, uh, we can call this P1, P2, P3, P4, P5. So I'm going to probably do P4 uh, uh, because P4 uh, has a technique in it that in, in, incorporates all these other ones, okay? Um, and now uh, let me clean this up and I'm going to be back with uh, a new diagram, okay? Okay, um, so we are going to solve this problem for at two points p1 and p2 so let's do uh p1 what the p1 would look like so want to know so question is uh question is what is electric field at this point and v1 uh v so v1 v1 with respect to v equal to zero at r equals to infinity if i go very far away from so that's my reference okay that's how we're going to use it so what's the electric field let's say i'm going to answer the question for electric field um okay so we have a technique so uh, so this problem is equal to i'm going to fill it this is with the row right so i'm going to fill it everything with row fill or even this with row so i'm going to have two problems one problem is this and so so this is at o and here is the p1 and then another problem is uh write a distance a from there so we have another problem a small sphere center right that point and O is still here we have a P1 see so, so uh, this this is Rho and this is minus Rho and we want to know what the electric electric field will be here plus so th this is a superposition of this and this so that but to do this, um, we can make use of some results for a sphere. So the, this, this point is outside of this sphere. So if over here, the electric field, so if this is the z-axis, so electric field is pointed that way over here, electric field is pointed this way over here. So this, this will be, uh, this, let's call it electric field with, let's call this was plus, okay, just for it. And this electric field from the minus and I, I will add this vectorially this uh, this is because I'm outside I need the whole charge okay so this is Rho and this is R1 and this is R2 so this Rho R1 cube over 3 epsilon naught uh, R R is the distance from the center to the here P1, which is says C square. This one, the distance is uh, distance is C minus A. <coughs> so this is E minus pointed in the opposite direction is rho R2 cube 3 epsilon naught C minus A square. And they're opposite, so the E 
e1 vector is you know uh, is in the z hat direction so k hat uh, unit vector in the z hat direction which is same as k hat uh, and have a row over 3 epsilon not common row over 3 epsilon not common and this one is positive r1 q over c c square and this will be negative r2 q over c minus a square and so we got this electric field how about the electric potential to get the electric potential we just have to um, find the electric potential v1 here uh, and uh, v plus v from this guy and v by this guy and then add them up so what's the v plus uh, we look at this outside this formula is applies v plus is a rho r1 cube over 3 epsilon naught c and this is the distance c minus a so rho uh, r2 cube over 3 epsilon naught c minus a and this one uh, this will be minus uh, yeah this is minus because this is negative so it's it's yeah so this is for positive this is for negative so I add them up v1 is simply v at this point p1 uh, is simply is going to be adding this actually means subtracting rho over 3 epsilon naught then it's not a vector not a vector just going to be plus or minus sign but not a vector uh, and that's going to be r1 cube over over uh, um, c minus uh, minus r2 cube over c minus a okay so that's uh, uh, that's for potential now how do you get these potentials we have covered this uh, these guys electric field this you you do it by you get it by using Gauss's law so you want to study Gauss's law uh, part and how do you get this you just uh, once you have them you integrate uh, you get this by integrating e uh, v, uh, v at some point p minus v at infinity which will be zero uh, equals to minus this is a reference so from the reference to point p e dot dl so that that's how you get these guys knowing knowing these guys from the Gauss's law and you can integrate appropriately so I'm not going to uh, do that but assume that you mean we have worked it out and we have a collection of formulas hopefully this was uh, correct because I put them down from my memory and I, I think they're correct okay <clears throat> all right so that's uh, for p1 is very easy how about we a point inside the cavity say so point p2 at some angle all right so let's try to do that okay so we are going to do this point now this point now so we have the f same technique the full one uh make it bigger okay uh, so we have this this whole thing with plus rho and you had a this is the origin and the point p1 is over here which is at distance a and distance b and this angle theta that's where the point p2 is so we want from this at that point and then uh, this is let's call it O prime for the center of the other place or other sphere so this is 
and this is rho minus or, or minus rho let's call it minus rho it's a plus rho and so from here it's a distance b and this is theta now if you want to use this uh, it's like this situation for this guy so it's very easy to write down from so this is uh, less this e e minus and then v minus so at that point right at p2 and then i need a e plus and it is a v plus so and you can use superposition for each one of them uh, to get the answer right so this one's very easy i can just write this down so e minus is because it's inside it's going to be in that direction right uh, actually it's the opposite direction so if you look at this vector so it's going to be electric field will be in that direction but the less unit vector is in that direction okay so unit vector minus is coming from the center to that so this is unit vector is coming from the center that direction so uh, this will be e minus let's call it vector u hat minus the direction and then i'm gonna have a minus rho uh, minus rho and the distance is just a b over 3 epsilon uh, this is a unit vector so this this is this whole thing is in vector. there's no negative there are 3 epsilon naught so using using this because point p is in p2 is inside so that thing applies and how about v minus point p is inside so it's going to apply that is going to be minus there's no vector here minus rho over six epsilon naught and three r2 square minus um, so whatever the potential is you know at the distance at the edge of this at the edge of this is uh, <coughs> the r2 square minus uh, minus b square minus b square so from just if you as if you had just this guy and you didn't have that you don't worry about the other one when you're doing the superposition individually so this as if there's there's the only problem if the only problem we just copy from the answer is the same way here uh, this is sphere so I, we need to know this distance let's call that distance d and so the electric field will be pointed uh, in that direction vector so let's call that a unit vector with a plus sky so unit vector with a plus sky so i'll need to figure out this unit vector in you know when i'm adding them up because their unit vectors are different uh, and so this is also inside so inside it's going to be same problem rho and this distance will be d uh we will figure out what d is given a and b just in a moment and we have a three epsilon naught so what's this d so we have a and b and this is theta and the d is this so this guy is pi minus theta and so cosine gives me d is uh, d square equals to a square plus b square minus uh, minus cosine uh, i mean 2ab cosine pi minus theta so we have a square plus b square plus 2ab cosine theta let's make sure if if theta is zero then it should be a plus b and theta equals to pi over two then it should be a minus b that's correct so d equals to and this distance so i just get a 
positive square root a square plus b square plus 2ab cosine theta. So this is this is the d. Um, v plus is going to be uh, also inside. So I'm going to use this formula because that's that point is inside this sphere. So I know uh, minus rho over 6 epsilon naught 3 r1 square minus d square. Okay. So that means, uh, uh, okay, so I put it together, I should have the answer. So that tells me uh, E at point P2, E at point P2 as a vector, I have to add this vector with this vector. So some things are common, rho over 3 epsilon naught is common, 3 epsilon naught is common, and so we have d times u hat from the plus that direction coming from the center of the plus uh, plus sphere uh, minus uh, b over 3 epsilon naught b minus b u hat minus and these guys are unit vectors from those directions which you can point uh, given the uh, given the points uh, P2's uh, um, location, you should be able to get this, guys. I'm not going to belabor that point. Uh, how about V? V at P2 will just be uh, some total of these guys. Uh, so this is why this is negative. This should be positive. This is not negative. This is positive. Uh, so this would be uh, rho over 6 epsilon naught, 6 epsilon naught, and I get a 3 r1 square minus d square minus 3 r2 square plus b square and there you have it so well, you know this is a, a filling a cavity a cavity and then exploiting the symmetry there uh, results or a simpler problem that results uh, uh, is a very interesting technique and applicable to a lot of really seemingly impossible problems. So here we had the symmetry. Uh, just want to mention that in the disk, suppose you have a disk and you had this cavity. So this problem, this problem equals to the full disk problem so you have to know how to do the disk problem right and then you have to superimpose with uh, opposite charge so if this was a plus row so this whole thing is plus row and this will be minus row so both are disks so you gotta be able to do the disk problem separately okay just like we had the uh, we were we need to do sphere problem separately here we have to do the disk problem separately. So, but it's a simpler problem than just doing uh, doing the disk with a hole to set up the integral and try to do the integral. So, setting this integral and doing this integral is much easier than just doing this. Uh, okay, um, uh, a lot of these things are in the website. You want to go check out. Uh, uh, it's uh, www.physicsbootcamp.org. I'm happy to see a lot more people are using that website for reference and also study. Um, uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Uh, and if you, you, you can hit like button, you can ask questions. If you have a uh, or request request problems to be solved um, etc okay uh, i'll see you in another video bye